Hi, welcome back to The Bench. And I'm a big fan of the Korg New Tube 6PI1. Now, I know there's a lot of people on YouTube that really diss it, but I was able to create a really nice sounding saturation device um, and using Lundell input and output transformers for its I.O. I think there are two main problems that it had was the pin pitch wouldn't fit into your normal breadboard and the evaluation kits are quite expensive and pretty much everything I've seen designed around on YouTube is kind of based around the evaluation kit. So um, when I was able to buy these from RS, I didn't bother with an evaluation kit and I just kind of designed my own circuit around it how I wanted it. Uh, unfortunately though, um, this is now discontinued from RS, even though they make uh, lots of kits and stuff to do with the new tube, but none of these come with the new tube. If you're in Europe, the closest place I can find is this Retro Amplis in Spain, where you can order single ones. So my solution for developing this on breadboard was to make a simple little PCB adapter. I've kept it very straightforward indeed. I was going to put a copper earth around both sides of the board, but I wasn't sure if that would interfere with the use of the new tube. So I thought I would leave that blank and literally only have copper going to the connectors. And this would be interesting because I've used a mask for the PCB way logo. So it'd be interesting to see how that turns out because there's no copper on either side of the board. If we have a quick look at that in the 3D viewer. Um, I'll have the green solder mask there and the green solder mask there. So it'll be interesting to see how that turns out. And of course, the great thing of working in KiCad is that you can just click the PCB way button up here and instantly you're ready to go. You don't have to type in any dimensions or load any Gerbers or anything. You can see here that the price there and if we take that up to 10 units, the price doesn't change. So you might as well have 10. Let's try 15. Yeah, the price goes up. And if you have an account with the PCB way, then you actually collect beans with all the audios that you make. Um, and in the past, I've traded a few beans in for some rulers. They actually also have a store which um, you can buy projects and things um, or use your beans to buy products. I was actually looking for a voltage and current meter to test some projects on the bench um, and I had enough beans to get one of these for free. So it'd be really exciting to have fun with that as well. So I ordered the PCB adapter board and one of these. Okay, let's see what we've got. Wow. It's, uh, it's always amazing to see this. Because when you're working in KiCad, obviously it's really big on the screen. So when you get the actual PCBs, they almost seem tiny. And there we go. Let's just take one here. Now here I have a new tube which is actually broken. As part of my stress test routine. And... So it is a second hand one. Should we have to get them in the holes? And there we go. So that fits in there like that. And then we just have some 2.54 pitch pin headers which then enables you to just attach it to the breadboard. I'll solder all that up in a second because I'm still quite interested to see the USB voltage and current reader. That comes in a fantastic box. Wow. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. And there it is. Oh, well, it looks quite complicated. There's some buttons. There's another USB socket there. There's some other sockets there. Um, another one in the rear. 
So, um, I'm going to have to come back to that, because uh, that should be a lo lot of fun. Okay, so, uh, obviously it is quite possible to solder that straight onto the board, but I was lucky enough when I made an order from Korg Japan that they sent me this adapter uh, free with my order. So I think I'm going to use this one instead. Um, that will enable me to swap uh, new tubes around um, quite easily in case I break any more. I'm really happy with how this turned out. The standoff's a bit of an overkill because it is pretty stable without them anyway. So um, I'm going to sell these PCBs on my eBay if anyone's interested. Or also, um, if you want to order direct from PCBWay.com, I am going to share this for on the community. So um, maybe if you have enough beans yourself, you can get one of these or ten of these for free. Um, yeah, really nice, happy with that. I'll leave all the links down below in the description. Yeah, I wish I had one of these boards when I first started developing for new tubes. As for this USB current and voltage meter, um, I'm going to save this for another video because I think there's a lot of nice experiments that we can do. Okay, catch you next time. Mm -hmm.